for some reason i have been born to look at the universe if you break a leaf of cactus there is white milk and you see rainbow colors i would see the streak of light coming through which is stardust you are made of stardust i am made of stardust everything about my art is like stardust it was a moment in history when natwar bhavsar arrived in new york when the color field abstract artists were at the top of their game he was lucky or fortunate to make their acquaintance uh, and become friends with them and that is when natwar realized the absolute possibilities and potential that new york offered him Piero Durazio, my professor at Penn, was a significant person in my life. In my studio, I would have Rothko, Newman, all the most known people would come to drink cheap wine. He was an artist who'd come out of Ahmedabad. He done massive murals while he was there in Gujarat but now he saw the same possibility of doing works in abstract kind of saturated with the very energies and emotion and culture that India represented Gujarat is known for colors because when you throw holi it's the whole sky you know the dust of it this is how we save colors you know, basically and my parents uh, on my, my mother's side they were printers color printers very very large tubs very very deep deep blues and deep reds i would just go and watch them constantly doing the way he uses color the way he manipulates it and that manipulation is an act of actual creation in terms of his paintings He works with dry pigment powders that he renders through sieves and through various tools, including his hands, etc., and binds them on the canvas through several layers. Those layers give or provide a depth to his paintings and a saturation that is intense, which is why whether they are reds or greens or blues or yellows, they explode with color. red is has so much power to it's like boom and blue is openness yellow is possession purple is royalty green is nature so this is how i look at art my art is not figurative my art is like walking in wilderness i work horizontally the painting surface is stretch canvas is stretched on box very flat box and i start with colors without any notion the only thing i determine is the size scale because i have to start on something now we live in soho area which was completely abandoned and that whole area was used as go downs we ended up requiring a 4000 square feet of space 15 feet high ceiling with skylights so it it allowed me to create very very large paintings you know so people would ask me when you look at the painting do you have to go far away back to see it i said no when you meet a person do you go far away to know them The first thing you look into their eyes second thing you hold your hand so you are connected I would imagine that as an Indian artist he's perhaps the most globally known and celebrated 
in terms of how he's been collected by institutions, both in America as well as across Europe.